various departments of the university, various PG colleges, centers spread across the valley, ladies and gentlemen, I wholeheartedly welcome one and all to today's program. Today, we all gather here to learn and explore a new phase in the education scenario of the country, the new education policy 2020. We all gather for a one-day awareness come orientation program on Swayam, choice-based credit system, and the new education policy 2020, which is on, organized under the patronage of the Dean of Academic Affairs of the University by the choice-based credit system NEP, that is New Education Policy Cell of the University of Kashmir. Now to take the program further, may I now request Dr. Farzana Gulzar, who is the coordinator of CBCS NEP Cell, to formally welcome the guests and introduce the program. Dr. Farzana Gulzar. This particular program is all about awareness come orientation program on SWAM CBCS NEP 2020 for all our academic counsellors. This program aims at envisioning that our University of Kashmir has to be a unique ecosystem to meet global standards. So uh, we look forward to this platform as to discuss a roadmap towards being multidisciplinary, inclusive and holistic education system. We are also going to fel felicitate our academic counsellors and our chief coordinator in the program. Thank you very much. Today's program, which is about orientation and awareness program about CBCS and other national economic, national education policy 2020. Uh, University of Kashmir was fortunate enough from the day one when in 2015 University Grants Commission announced about the scheme of CBCS and uh, we had the best team over here the meticulous work of Professor Sheffield, which all we know in the office that from day one she has been, he has been engaged in uh, formulation and implementation of the CBCS scheme and uh, probably we were the most successful, I may say at least in our own erstwhile state of JNK, we were the most successful education institution which has successfully implemented the CBS scheme that I place on record. And probably it was because of the uh, meticulous efforts of Professor Sheffield. Uh, as we all know that CBCS earlier, education system overall, when we see the world education system and when we see the education system in our own country, there is a marked difference between the education system of India and the education system of the world. As a, I have already, on this same stage, I have already conveyed that if India has the second largest uh, higher education network system in the world and uh, we have almost now 1,000 universities in the private as well as the public sector and simultaneously we have almost 40,000 plus colleges established in India which has a huge network and uh, now the country has almost a gross enrollment ratio beyond 30. So, but when we see the gross enrollment ratio of the world and when we compare it to the populous country of India, so we see that the market difference in gross enrollment ratio, even at the primary level, secondary level, higher education level or the college and university level. So as we all know that NEP earlier education policy was that was in 1986. So it was again well thought that new education policy should be implemented and should be formulated. And now we are with the new education policy 2020 and hopefully Kashmir University is again the first university, first education institution in the uh, JNK University which has implemented the new education policy at least at the undergraduate level and as we have already under the guidance of the Dean Academic Affairs, they have already formulated the scheme and we have been, we have, we have the university, first university in, again in JNK, which has announced the admission, uh, though it is not yet finalized by UGC also, but we are somehow very close to the 
uh, the centric policy of new education policy when we see it as implementation at the undergraduate level. So there are predictors, different predictors which will be different, discussed by our experts also. But at the University of Kashmir level, as Registrar and, and the guidance and the leadership of the Vice Chancellor, I assure that whatever support, whatever uh, physical, material, or economic and other support which is required from the University of Kashmir, from the administration to the, for the successful implementation of this new scheme along with the CBSS scheme, uh, we assure that we will provide our full support to the team and to the different departments at the university level. And inshallah, we will again be the successful implementers of the scheme. Thank you all. As all of us know, it has say, two major components. One is that we will be felicitating those coordinators uh, who have contributed or who have done a commendable job right from the days we implemented or we opted for uh, credit choice based system or choice based credit system. And then to have some sort of uh, understanding of the new dimensions of the uh, NEP or uh, National Education Policy. So as regards first component of this session, felicitation of uh, those friends, those colleagues who have contributed in implementation of uh, this uh, choice based credit system are now who are helping us in uh, implementation of uh, national education policy 2020 so if you go back to the days when we started implementation of this choice based credit system uh, there was a time when even majority of the faculty members probably i was also one amongst them we were not knowing what exactly this credit means and then to calculating the credit load or assigning credit load to different courses, unitization of those courses in accordance with those credit systems. It was at that stage, it was an uphill task. Of course, at this stage, we uh, feel it that oh, it's very easy, it's not that difficult a task. coordinators but just let us go back, go down our memory lines and see how difficult it was at that stage. Because obviously, had anybody else been at our place, he too would have faced the same situation. Because our academic upbringing was in a different system. It was annual system. We never had concepts of those semesters, credits and all that. So once we take those things into consideration, it's a major transformation implementation of credit choice based system it's a major transformation in our education system in our, in university of kashmir so that this is just once we felicitate any individual any organization any group i think it's very essential unki contribution ka uske unke ka uske kaam ka ek kha ka khechna bahut zaruri hai so i feel that's very important you deserve appreciation for all that what we have contributed in implementation of choice based credit system and another aspect of it is uh, equally raw were our students also they too had no concept of this and then these academic coordinators who were assigned this task who were assigned this job they have done a tarif uh, they made students to understand what this system is the idea of what we had about a choice-based system, and we had entrusted the whole system on few academic coordinators, I don't think this will uh, be a successful model in the future. I believe each and every one from every department needs to play his or her part to ensure this national education policy does exist in its in letter and sector. The fundamental idea is that uh, while the colleges uh, have understood that the graduation concept have changes. What we had the idea of the schools, subjects, specializations has been diminished by this policy. People cannot restrict themselves to their own subjects, their own area of specializations, because the idea is of multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary subjects, where a student from sociology can study zoology, a person from commerce can end up studying uh, botany. So idea 
of conflict, which otherwise used to be a major conflict idea that you're a student from commerce or management and you're a student from sciences, humanities, languages. These lines have been erased and we have a policy which goes beyond the concept of subject and specialization. I believe such gatherings have to be more often. We need some serious interactions, we need serious people discussing it because the number of people who are present here do not, I suppose, do not represent every department, they don't represent every faculty as well. Uh, and as Dean of Academics said that you need to put your ideas and your understandings forward for us to come to a point of implementation at the university level. Uh, the idea of implementation and when is the university academician and the university faculty ready to take a student directly <coughs> from a college to a PhD program. The idea of an opportunity which has been extended by national education policy. We need to sit and I believe this is the first step and we should congratulate Dean Academic Affairs, Farzana and the whole team that they have put together a good beginning and I believe such beginnings uh, have to go a long way before we have a kind of a roadmap for implementation at the university level. Let me place my thanks uh, here to all the academic counselors who cooperated, who, you know, solved the problems of the students and then it's a structure, sir. It's a structure uh, which is uh, comprising of 90, more than 90 academic counselors which are spread to departments as well as to campuses and then uh, you have colleges which are running our PG programs, a good number of good galaxy of these. So, in their own institutions, they are working, but they need to be now, you know, brought in time and again for, you know, interaction, for conferences, for seminars, for discussing, deliberating, because NEP is there. And in future, they will have a different role, maybe not as the work which they are doing with the CBCS, maybe uh, as, as Majid Sahib was telling you right now that in future we may have, you know, a different master's program. And then I may tell you that we may have master's program, couple of master's program in a department, maybe at least two, one which is research based, the other one which is academic based. So the role of academic counselor is always there. You will, you will find your role there and your role is becoming larger and larger in, in view of the NEP.